Okay, we are back here with Atlanta Falcons franchise. These are my sliders. I am significantly outmatched compared to the CPU here. I know my QB accuracy is on 60, but I still get inaccurate bullet passes with a 90 overall X Factor QB. Um, pass blocking, run blocking, I did turn down. Phone bulls are the same. Everything else here has been the same except for pass blocking, run blocking. That's what the CPU has. Uh, interceptions is fine. Pass coverage is fine. I'm actually gonna turn pass coverage up to 85. Let's do that, and um, yeah, other than that, guys, let's see what we got here for our cold opponent against the Bears. No fear, smug response. Um, uh, smug response. I, I don't really have too much fear for the Bears, but I don't want to, I mean, I don't want to talk a big game, but trap game based on the record and what they put all over film past week, few weeks, I've seen much for us cold streak. Bears will be struggling, and all their players will have minus five break tackle play wreck and tackle for this game so giving a smug response is a lot better so let's beat the bears here who are two and four we are five and one we have some players ready to negotiate here and um i don't want him or him i don't want moster or Moreo. um but marlon davidson people told me my discord told me specifically give him two years um and see how he does there for about 2.5 million he only wants 2 million so i think i will resign marlon davidson as he does resign with the team he is a solid player, especially when he's starting, but he's not a starter anymore, so that's why I was questionable about him, but he will continue to stay on this team. He's a decent player. I like him. Malik Walker is also a very decent player. Um, If he will take two mil, I will resign him, but mm, no, no, I'm not going to resign you for that. I can get someone cheaper in free agency that's a little bit better, but uh, Malik Walker is a no. Felipe Franks, unfortunately, I do not need you anymore. Um, Jordan Ford is able to play again. I don't know who that is. He's just on our roster. Let's look into our roster just a quick look at it. If you guys are new to the series, probably here from TikTok or something like that. This is the team. That's why we're five and one. Team is God Squad. I could maybe use one more better receiver. John Ross and Steven Sims are solid. But um, yeah, Kyle Pitts is awesome too. Our O-line has slightly improved from the last episode. Matt Hennessy was here at center. We traded for Lane Johnson straight up. Lane Johnson will probably retire by the end of this year. This defense looks so good on paper, but it's not. It really isn't with the sliders that we have against us. It's really just not amazing. AJ Terrell is injured too. I was not aware of this. Dislocated shoulder out for one week. Probably some uh, weekly training that got him injured, but it's fine. Now let's upgrade some players here. Who do we have? Jordan Poyer, Andrew Thomas. Uh, James Rouse is of interest. And... Um, what do we have? I want, what do we, mm, I'm gonna continue just to go into Scrambler because I need him to be a 90 overall flat so I can get an ability on him, break sack, throw accuracy short, because I need him to get this final ability protected, which would be awesome. Yeah, I want that for sure. I want protected and Andrew Thomas, upgrade this to power. We are a running team, so I do like that. And he gets plus one pass block, plus, plus two pass block power. I asked for power and you gave me pass blocking and not run blocking. Nice, 97 strength with the upgrades that we have given him. Up, auto upgrade the rest of the players. Let's look into the Bears roster, then hop into this game. So we're going to go to roster, NFL rosters, and let's scroll down to the Bears. We'll scroll up to the Bears and Bears. We have Justin Fields here. Looks whatever, but he's going to be a god because CPU um, QB through accuracy is at 100. Dave Montgomery is going to be probably really good. Uh, Allen Robinson's great. Darnell Mooney it has superstar dev now. That's cool for him. And Deontay Harris, who also has superstar, I believe, now only has star. Pretty good receiving core. Cole Komet here. Uh, Tevin Jenkins. Does he have star dev? He does. He just didn't progress very fast. Cody Whitehair. Sam Hendricks, superstar development center. Looks cool. Might have to trade for him, imagine. Uh, James Daniels, pretty good offensive line, actually. Just very young. It, Keem Hicks, pretty solid. Um, Nichols is pretty good. Eddie Goldman, pretty good defensive line. Khalil Mack on the pass rush, of course. Roquan Smith. Uh, Damian Guyton has normal dev. Okay. Jalen Johnson, Rockison, and Blasson. Is that how you pronounce it? Austin. I'm just going to call him Austin. Eddie Jackson and uh red wine 
I don't know who this guy is, but whatever. Pretty good defense, actually, and pretty solid offense. So I don't understand how they're two and four, but it's fine. Anyways, guys, apart from that, it is time to get into this game against the Chicago Bears. Looking for this corner route with Naheem Hines. That's actually going to be wide open. Naheem Hines, get a spin move. No, nah, it spun right into the tackler. Doesn't matter. One for one, 120 yards. One, not 120 yards, 21 yards. Naheem Hines, first down. Steve Sims. I'm be looking for him. Ah, uh, no. Oh, I'm mad at myself. I'm so mad. Come on. No, no. I saw him move up. I thought he was playing man. Jackson. Jackson. I don't even know who that is. Did we even read it? Like, this is my thought process. I was looking for Steve Sims for the first part of the play, and he just wasn't there. Calvin Ridley is clearly covered, and I thought he was playing man on Calvin. So then I look at... Right here, I look at Naheem Hines and go, wow, that is wide open. And then I throw the ball now, which is the wrong move. I should be throwing to Calvin Ridley here, who takes the cut in. Well, actually, this would be picked off right here. He's playing over here. He's playing here. Um, Kyle Pitts is clearly guarded. Everything was locked down here. That was just a great play by the DB. I'll completely take blame for that, but I thought... I thought something else was happening on that play. That's completely my fault. Um, and we that was like our fourth or sixth. I think that's our sixth interception on the year. And I've actually been doing pretty good on interceptions. This is our seventh game. And I've only thrown six interceptions, which is surprising for me. What do we have with John Ross? Uh, not much. That's going to be open, though. Backed up way too far in the pocket. People have been commenting, oh, you back up too far. Me backing up for those extra couple seconds bought me that time for Kyle Pitts. I will start rolling out more if that pleases you. Gonna try and pin a 60-yarder with Will Lutz. It is up on the way, and it is good. 3-7 to seven against the Bears. It is going to be a run play. Good job. Got him in the backfield. Tackle for a loss for Fosad Alucan and Ed Oliver. What are we gonna have? Um, underneath isn't there. He has way too much time. Jordan Poyer. Pick it off. Pick... I... I'm spamming Y. Do I have to time it differently? Someone please tell me how to work this. I am on the ball and I am pressing Y. And it's not working. It's so irritating. It is so dumb how this game works sometimes. Oh my god. I'm going to be looking for Naheem Hines. I think I have him again underneath. Naheem Hines move up the field trying to truck. Powers forward for a first down about like 12 yards. What am I going to find on these slants here? I have Steve Sims wide open. I sat in the pocket, waited my turn. Steve Sims off to the races and stretches forward on the one. Come on, dude. It looks like he had that. He hit the piling and everything. Let's try and punch this in with Hines. Once again, Hines vultures the touchdown, gets a rushing touchdown, padding those stats for him. 10 to 14 against the Bears. And I have to cover the middle here. Had the middle. Oh my gosh, everything's open. I guess technically that was my zone, but I had to move on to a different guy who was running a slant. First down for Deontay Harris. Some more. Come on. Okay. No, I literally ran a spread zone defense, and <laughs> I'm gonna trip him up, and he's gonna get a first down, dude. I ran a spread zone defense, and to stop the outside run because I thought it was gonna be, and we didn't even come close. It is going to be a run up the middle. I committed. I committed to the run up the middle, and they're going to get it on board. It's so irritating. And I'm on the wrong guy again. I'm going to get in the backfield, though, with Ed Oliver. Good thing I was on the wrong guy because I immediately shed. Got David Montgomery in the backfield for a tackle for a loss. And he's going to... No, my, I missed the tackle. I missed the tackle. Doesn't matter. They would have scored anyways with how this drive has been going because we collapsed on third and fourth down. Uh, I think we could have Kyle Pitts here. Number four, again, Jackson. <sighs> that was just my fault again. Eddie Jackson. Mm, the safety, I forgot he changed his number to four. That's why I didn't recognize him earlier. On the wrong guy again. <sighs> Going for a big hit and, wow, sheds off of him immediately. Get off of your... <laughs> Once again, Tyler Ridgway just sucks at his job. Let's roll out here. Going to be looking for Kyle Pitts. I might have that there. I'm going to take that. Do I got it? Inaccurate bullet pass. Dude, he inaccurate bullet pass a touchdown. Oh, my God. 
Come on, I'm sending a six-man blitz and walks through his body. Great. Love to see it. Let's go. Come on, come on. It's a screen, of course. Ju when I ask you to dive, duh. I'm asking Tyler Ridgeway to dive. I switch on, I'm spamming X, and he's like, nah. Coming in with the heat. <sighs> so, what are we going to start with? Got this. I don't know what I'm supposed to have over the middle. He has way too much time. I'm going to have to change the slider. I'm, I'm, that's block in the back, by the way. Dude, I'm going to have to change this slider. This is way too many. Justin Fields has four touchdowns for 200. Gosh, it, it's just way too much. He has way too much time for we have the best defensive line. It's not even a debate. The best defensive line in the NFL, and we're generating zero pressure. Coming in with the heat, and once again, too much time. Deontay Harris, touchdown. Uh, gonna be looking for Foster here. I have Foster. There you go, Foster. Move up the field. Pretty slow. 13 yards in a first down, though. I'm gonna roll out here. Primary receiver is Steven Sims. I think... Mm, I knew it was a pick as soon as I threw it. I'm just having a terrible day. All these picks are my fault. I'm gonna take... I'm not gonna blame anyone. Uh, my check down is not open, but that is open. There you go. Steve Sims is, like, the only player getting it done. Um, let's roll out here, set the feet, Kyle Pitts, first down, fourth and, uh, first down, we had a fourth down before, major yardage, but again, this game's long over, being man coverage, they are in man coverage, leaving this wide open, James Rouse rushing touchdown, 17 to 42 against the Bears, the game's long over, it doesn't really matter though. It is going to be a run play to the outside. Good job. Tackle for a loss against David Montgomery. Um, yes, there we go. Finally. Oh, no. I'm so pissed. <laughs> You're not going to. Oh, this is what I mean by this game sucks, dude. <sighs> Let me see the replay. Damn it, dude. Holy. Two guys screaming off the edge. Got a dude in your face. Literally on his back, like a monkey, shoves off almost a 300-pound defensive end. And then on the run, sidearm, under pressure, throws a dot to Cole commit that nobody is covering. How convenient. And it's going to be a pass. And nobody gets pressure in on a nine-man blitz. Quality game. What are we going to have? Um... Steve Sims again. I like it. I, cool. Walks in on the eight man blitz. Quality. Cool. Um, my tight end versus a DB. Inaccurate bullet pass. Makes sense. It's going to be a pass. Like, I don't know what you want me to do. I, I can't generate pressure. I send a blitz, and whenever I send a blitz, they throw a pass. Like, I, I've been humiliated by the first-round bust in Justin Fields. He's a bust in real life. I don't care if you're a Bears fan. He sucks. Hines once more. Bounce this to the outside. Naheem Hines, a great job to get to the outside. About 15 yards and a first down. I mean, the game's over. Just doing it, you know, just to pad stats. Why not? And Hines once again. Great blocks upfield. Swerve that man out. Eddie Jackson gets swerved out. 15 yards and another first down. We could have the potential to actually score here. Might just do that. Let's roll out. That's wide open. There you go. Kyle Pitts scores late game touchdown. Doesn't really matter, but it's whatever. Okay, so before this game, I had such a good rating as a quarterback, but now after throwing one touchdown and five interceptions, that's in the dirt. We had a 45 pass rating. Justin Fields, perfect pass rating. 21 for 22, 376 yards, seven TDs and zero interceptions. 
I need it. I'm going to, whether you like it or not, I'm going to lower the pass blocking slider. We have the best defensive line in the NFL and we generate zero pressure. Uh, for instance, let's go look at it right now. Zero sacks on the entire game. In total of two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tackles for a loss because I ran a blitz every single play at the end there. Naheem Hines had a pretty good game at the end there. Uh, James Rouse had a pretty good game rushing as well. Both are rushing touchdown for them. But yeah, I just don't know what you want me to do against these sliders. I mean, I understand I did good again in the last episodes, but I think I've generated a total of um, two sacks out of the last three games with the best defensive line in the NFL. That goes to show you something. Uh, cold opponent. We're not going to have a good reply with this. And it's bad enough we didn't win, but you said during this week is already coming back at us. A lot of guys in here aren't going to be happy. Well, no shit, Lane Johnson. Um, embarrassing loss. More like humiliating. 66 to 24. That is terrible. We're going to be facing the Rams in the next episode. I can't believe that game actually just happened. We got smothered like that. Next man up. Okay, that's all we have. Returning from injury, AJ Terrell. Man, our team just crumbled in that game. Whatever. Anyways, guys, apart from that, I thank you guys all for watching it, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.